Hi guys, it's Patrick Starr and Hi, I'm Candace. This is my girlfriend all the way from high school. Yeah. Um many moons ago. <laughs> <laughs> Not <how> many. <laughs> Um, we were both in the marching band and we've been friends ever since and I just got back from BeautyCon and I got new lights and I was really um, itching to record so I thought I would do a makeup transformation mm -hmm. on one of my best girlfriends and she loves makeup and I thought it would doll her up and today we did like the full lashes, the full hair, I even styled the hair so I'm gonna <laughs> go through like everything with you and um, she was kind enough to show her before so <laughs> um, as you guys know um, this is a little secret um, I did do Anastasia Beverly Hills daughter Norvina and today I have Oprah's daughter <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Just remember guys, all of the links to the products that I use on Candace and the hair and the hair tools and makeup will all be linked below. So click on the link and also check for any special promotion codes or discount codes that I have special for my subscribers. But nonetheless, let's get on to the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, it's Patrick Starr and Candice. So today we're gonna do extra glam and I'm going to have her cleanse her face using the Purity Cleanser, a three-in-one cleanser by Philosophy. Next, I'm going to take her Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in the color Rich Honey. And I'm gonna take this on a dual fiber brush by Sigma and I'm going to just lightly buff that onto her skin and this foundation is super lightweight I love this foundation I have been wearing it myself and it is very lightweight and it is a medium to full coverage foundation it corrects it brightens her skin and it's ultimately lightweight I think that's what most of us as makeup wearers want in a foundation something that's flawless and fierce and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Next I'm going to take the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and this is in the color Deep. I'm just going to take that onto the foundation just to kind of mix it and this is in the color Deep and this concealer is amazing. I myself have been wearing this too so I thought I wanted to use it on Candice and I'm taking this onto a flat Sigma brush and I'm going to Put this under the eyes the nose a little bit on the forehead upper lip and chin and what i love about this concealer is that it has a peach undertone orange like um a warm undertone to it that way it will lift the darkness of the under eye and everywhere else and i'm going to take my damp beauty blender with fix plus i soaked it and then i sprayed fix plus on her face to then further seamlessly blend the concealer and this is what we want and since I use a lot of concealer using a sponge will help lift and dilute the product so it doesn't look so heavy if I were to blend this with a brush the product would still be all over the brush and also her face next I'm going to take a little bit more of that concealer and then conceal her upper lid as you can see she has hyperpigmentation on her lid and what I really want for Candace is a flawless base so we can dress the eyes the lips and the cheeks so to set that concealer I'm going to take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this is a must-have if you're a makeup artist if you love to wear a heavier concealer this powder is amazing and I'm patting this onto the eye and I'm taking this with my um, real techniques brush and this brush is amazing I love using this on myself on my clients for my makeup kit I have about like five of these brushes and then furthermore I'm going to press the powder onto the skin so it will ensure longevity um, and durability for the for the rest of the day next I'm going to take my Anastasia C cream contour kit and my Josie Moran argan oil and I'm going to warm up the skin and this color at first I thought was a little bit too red but it is just the right amount of warmth it gives to Candice's um, type of skin tone and it's beautiful like once blends it out I'm gonna take the um, the same foundation brush and blend it out seamlessly and as you can see it's starting to take shape like her face so it's not just one flat color but these are the steps that 
I feel you need to take if you want to do something ultra glam and fun. Next, I'm going to set a little bit of the rest of her face using this amazing new Morphe tapered brush and my Studio Fix um, powder foundation and lightly dust the rest of her face. I'm going to condition her lips with MAC Lip Conditioner, a makeup artist must have. And then I'm going to take my Shu Iyamura Amazing Lash Curler and I'm going to curl her lashes and prep for the eyes. I'm going to take a little bit more of that Amazonian, no, Tarte Creases Concealer and I'm going to highlight her brows and then I'm going to take my favorite eyeshadows by Makeup Geek. And what I'm highlighting her with is Peach Smoothie. It's that nice neutral color for every makeup artist. So I'm gonna use this under her brows and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of Peach Smoothie and that deeper shade called Cocoa Bear. And I'm going to transition this color onto the lid. And I'm going to blend this with a Sigma E40 brush. And this brush is amazing. I'm going to take on a smaller Morphe tapered brush. I'm going to take Bitten by Makeup Geek and I'm going to sketch that onto the crease of the eye so it will really lift and contour her eye. That's what we're doing right now is we're just contouring. But as you guys can see, I'm working lower on the lid. So I'm going to start with my lightest colors and then work my way down towards the lash line. Next, I'm going to take the blackest black eyeshadow ever, Corrupt. You guys should definitely have this. If you don't have it, get it. And it is the blackest eyeshadow, and I'm just going to work my way into the eye. Next, I'm going to take this new foiled Makeup Geek eyeshadow called Grandstand. I'm going to damp my brush, and then I'm going to gently pat this onto the lid and add that pop effect. This eyeshadow, these eyeshadows by Makeup Geek are amazing. Like they're super, super gorgeous for my brides, and not just brides, but for anyone that loves a metallic shadow. I'm going to line her eyes using my favorite Inglot gel eyeliner and a Sigma angled brush. And next, I'm going to take my Blinking Butte lashes in the style number five. And these lashes are beautiful. They're so amazing. And they really open up her eye. Next, I'm going to dust off the shadow, I mean the setting powder, and I'm going to apply a mixture of Amber and Rose and Raisin Blush. I'm gonna take this waterproof ink lot liner and buff it out with Corrupt and Bitten Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. And then I'm going to conceal the lash line with more gel liner. And I'm going to contour the nose with the same powder, the Studio Fix powder in the color NW50. And then I'm going to snatch the nose. And then I'm going to take her Extended Play Mascara in the Extreme Black and um, lash, lash her out. Next, I'm going to take Gold Deposit and my fan brush. And I thought that wasn't enough highlight, so then I took my new, brand new highlighter by Makeup Forever which is an amazing and amazing you guys see that glow like yes it's gorgeous it is like to die for and i like pressing it in with a beauty blender to kind of make make that glow from within rather than it sit on top next i'm going to take my dark brown anastasia brow wiz and i'm just going to lightly fill in her brows she has beautiful brows and i just want to add a little bit of arch next i'm going to take my favorite lash curler of life which is this crimper sort of it's from sephora it is amazing especially because it doesn't encase the lash like other lash curlers it really you guys can really customize the pinch without um messing up your whole um false lash or your real lash because it does have that open end and it's amazing it's amazing and it's from sephora for the lips she wanted to do something really dark and sexy and bold so i lined the whole lip using night moth lip liner by mac and then i went over the lips with this amazing gloss by gerard cosmetics and it's in the color seduction that's what she wanted you know candace is single she wanted to seduce the boys tonight so that's what we don't did for her was to add seduction gloss and it's by gerard cosmetics it's amazing and then i decided she needed some dsl so um 
that was inappropriate. Anyways, <laughs> some bigger lips, and then we wanted to um, overline a little bit. Next, I'm taking the Anastasia Contour Powder in the color Carob, and we're just going to sketch the face and contour and snatch her cheekbones, and then further snatch her nose using Carob. Next, I'm going to take these two colors from the Anastasia um, Contour Book, and I'm going to highlight her eyes. Next, we're going to do a full transformation, you guys. So we're going to add, like, a cute little old wig. And then next, I'm going to take my Numi um, curling set. And, well, this is a curling set. This flat iron can curl. But it's amazing. It is the curling curls on deck set, I believe. And you guys can get $100 off this set if you enter the code curls on deck. And then you can get 40% off the whole website if you use the code Patrick Star. These ceramic tools are amazing. They get the job done and it's super, super gorgeous. And as you guys can see, it really made the hair super shiny, super flawless. And I haven't seen my, my wig this gorgeous since I think I first got it out the box. But what we're going to do is we're just going to... You know, flatten the hair, straighten the hair, like always. It does come with a glove. I didn't use the glove, but this is what I wanted to do. Keep it really sleek. So we made a deep part, and then we just sleeked it back, and this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. It was so fun. This is the before and the after, and I think it's super glowy. It's super glamorous, and Candace loved it. I always do her makeup, and it's always fun to have a girlfriend with me to doll up and to glam, and I hope you guys learn some tips and tricks if you guys are a professional makeup artist, an aspiring makeup artist, or someone that just simply wants to look glam at home. I hope you guys enjoy this this tutorial and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Link, to lo link below. All of the products. Smile. Right? Okay. <laughs> All of the links. What am I supposed to say? All, the, remember. All of the links to the products. Uh, below. Yeah. Wait, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> oh, wait, Yeah, I look good. <laughs> Tyra, watch out. <laughs>